Hello there, my crafty friends. It's Ashley Pfeiffer, the maker behind Stamped AF. I am bringing you one of the celebration coordination products this week. So, Sending You Thoughts is a gorgeous sentiment-based stamp set from Celebration. So you can get this free with a $60 order in Canada. And then you can purchase the Sending You Flowers coordinating dies. Actually, they're not coordinating because they don't cut out a, a stamped image. But there are these two wonderful banner dies. There are the flowers, and then there is this gorgeous large die. Like, look how big this thing is. I think when I measured it, it was four inches across. So I have made a couple of cards with this already. So I've got this version that I showed in my Facebook Live last week. So I used the die cut on a piece of Whisper White, and then I die cut it again using some of the Bright's DSP. So the background, the flowers, and that's what those little dies are for. So you can cut out the whole image, but these flowers don't come out. It's all like a silhouette. So then you can use these ones to cut out your flowers to layer them. So there's that one, and I put little pearls in the middle of most of the flower, well, all of the like daisy type flowers, the tulips obviously not. Looks like I missed one there or it fell off. <laughs> and then with a great big wish for happiness, which is another sentiment from that stamp set. So this one is a sunset, so the flowers would just be a silhouette. If we're backlit, you wouldn't see any of the detail, it would just be the outline. So we're gonna do some ink blending, but we're gonna do it different colors this time. And I know this probably looks a little stark, but I wanted it to stand out. So we'll see if we use white or if we use a different color. And then I also use the uh, metallic twine on this one. Um, not sure that we'll use it on the next one because the colors we are using don't coordinate. We are using Melon Mago, Gorgeous Grape, and Knight of Navy. I thought about putting Bermuda Bay in there and maybe we will, we'll see. But I wanted to give you some tips about cutting this. So this is a large die and I watched a video yesterday that recommended, let me bring my big shot in here. I don't usually bring it in because it slides all over and it takes up the whole screen. Um, so she recommended that the most pressure on the rollers is on the sides. So she recommended rolling it through this way because I would go that way. But let me show you what she recommended and then we'll, we'll see which way works. Mine did come out well. I just had to sit there with my take your pick tool to uh, take all the pieces out. So let's see how well this comes out kind of on its own without paper piercing tool or the take your pick tool. not going to do our sentiment strip yet because I'm going and planning to use the scraps like the leftover from our whisper white so we'll do that later on see it's still in there you can still see that it cut all the way through but we are going to have to poke it out which is fine and I do this rather carefully I kind of pop the flowers up and give it a bit of a wiggle it is a larger piece of cardstock. I don't want to rip something and then have to start over again. I waste my fair share of cardstock experimenting and it always hurts when you have to throw it out. Sometimes there's just no salvaging it. I mean, uh, in my videos, I sometimes make mistakes. I mean, creative opportunities, so I've been told, um, and show you how to fix them. But there are some things that you just can't fix. And creativity is having fun, right? So sometimes you you just want to play. You have to experiment. Okay, so that is that part done. What I like to do is take my stamp and pierce mat and just pop these little guys out. So just push them. You don't have to push too hard. I find that if I push into the mat, I kind of get a line or a mark on the cardstock. So I just kind of keep it there for my stylus to hit when it goes through. 
You don't want to push too hard and rip it off. And of course, this part is optional. This could make a great sun. The one thing I will say is that I wish we had a circle die big enough to cut this out. Like just the outline. Because I am not so good freestyling. I tried cutting it yesterday with just scissors and it was all over the place. I'm sure there's something we could do to do that, but I'm trying to show you a quick card today. A quick and stunning card. Okay, so I am going to say that usually what I would use for my blending tool would be a makeup brush. So one like this, but I recently watched the wonderful Martin Stone, who is part of the Stamping Society. So he's one of my design team, um, I was gonna say members. Um, he's, he's on Stamping Society with me. He showed recently how to use sponge daubers and let me tell you, I was impressed. I had to give it a try because usually I would use the cosmetic brushes. So we're going to leave, we don't need the whole thing. Basically we just need to about there. So let's just draw a little pencil line. You could cut that part off, but I like to leave myself some room for error. Okay, so we're gonna start at this end. We're just gonna ink this up. There's no right or wrong, but I would recommend starting light and working your way up. You can always add more ink, you can't take it off. I can tell you that right there is why I prefer the makeup brushes. But I'm gonna stick with this. Because if you keep going, you can kind of cover them up. Go in again. Now also, we're not gonna see this whole thing. So if we get something where there's a mark, chances are we're not even gonna see it. Okay, so that is enough pink. You do wanna bring in your piece of cardstock every now and then to make sure that you don't go too far because if I keep going with my pink, I'm not gonna have enough room for the Gorgeous Grape and the Knight of Navy. So I'm not gonna close that up yet. I'm gonna keep my dauber right there. And now we're gonna go for Gorgeous Grape. Now, in the one that I did yesterday, I used Melon Mambo, Flirty Flamingo, Grapefruit Grove, and da uh, Pineapple Punch, sorry. So this time, I'm only using three colors. I thought about adding Highland Heather. And then I thought, nope, let's just blend it with the three colors. Okay, and last is Knight of Navy. So we're done with the Melon Mambo. And all you have to do for this is think about how the sky looks as the sun goes down. So as the sun's coming down, all of the yellow is now covered so we would get that pink into the purple into the navy. So I'd recommend not only bringing in your piece of paper, your cardstock, but also standing up to see how it looks. I mean, if I were just looking at this, I'd think, oh, this needs some work. Like we've got that lighter line there and blah, blah, blah. But Actually, when I put my flowers down, it's a pretty darn good looking sky. Whoops, that, I knew I was gonna do that. Just put the gorgeous grape in the night of navy. So let's just add a little bit more up here.
There we go. I'm happy with that. Looks gorgeous, doesn't it? And we just went to our pencil line, but I think a big part of that is dry fitting it, dry fitting it to make sure that you're on track and it's looking the way you want it to look. So we're done with all of these. Now the next step would be to take our spritzer and I just like to flick some dots. And you saw that there's nothing fancy to that. I didn't spray it in my hand and throw it. I just flicked the end. Now, one optional thing that I like to do, and this will come after we've adhered this, is to go in and add a few stars. This is just a Secura Jelly Roll pen. Okay. You can always take a paper towel and sop up any of that water that's still there. And then the final step before we adhere is to take some of our Champagne Mist Shimmer Spray because a sky is pretty magical, right? We want a little bit of shimmer in there. There we go. You can also take some Wink Estella and um, basically do what I did with the spritzer and just get a bunch out and flick it. Mine is almost empty, so it's not gonna do very much. Okay, okay. So now we can cut off this little part and I did get some overspray on there and that is okay. So I'm gonna cut off at least that piece and then when we've adhered it, I will cut off any excess. If this is the first time you are seeing this, this little mini paper trimmer, the only way that you can get this now is to join Stampin' Up. So you will get the mini paper trimmer, you will get the six by six DSP sampler, and mine is right here, but it is a mess. <laughs> the little scraps. Um, so you get to try a whole bunch of the DSP from the mini catalog. And then you also choose a free stamp set of your choice. So you can pick one of the expensive ones, like the two part ones, uh, like Well Said or Good Morning Magnolia. I would go big but you choose all of that in your kit. You could go this way, but I mean, it's, it looks pretty, but I just know that it's, this is the way that I designed it to be. So if you have any questions about joining my team within Canada, I can only, I can only have team members within my own market. Uh, then just send me an email, stampedaf at gmail.com. If you have no questions and you're just ready to take the plunge, the link is below. And I would be happy to welcome you to my team. It is growing quite nicely during celebration. It has, uh, it's doubled and still growing. I know I've got, still got a few people kind of waiting in the wings that are interested. But you know, life happens. You don't get the time to sit down at your computer and decide what goodies you're gonna wanna get. It happens. I've just come off a week that was uh, unpredictable and focused on family. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just add some glue. I, any of the larger spaces and the flower tops I put some glue in there. You don't have to overthink this, just here, there, everywhere. You don't want this seeping out onto your background, so a very light hand. And then when you've got all the flowers glued, just add some glue around the outside. Don't glue those little tabby things because you want them to pop up. And there we go. Make sure you've got it down on the back. And I should mention this was just Whisper White cardstock. It wasn't watercolor paper or shimmer paper. Just regular old Whisper White cardstock. Now I had a bit of glue down there so I will fix that after. 
but I will fix it when it's dry. Okay, so right now this cardstock is a full size mat, so I want to trim it down to four inches. Ouch, hang nail. But you don't want to cut off those little tabby things, whatever they are. So take a little bit off of both sides. And I find it easier to do that trimming after I've done my ink blending and adhered everything down. And you may not be able to get to four inches, but um, cut it. Cut it as small as you can without interfering with your little knobby things. <laughs> whatever those are. Now I am going to take my bigger trimmer because this one only goes to four. Now the other thing I could do is if I was using the standard grid paper I could measure it on here but maybe what I'll do is just hold it up to here. That is the only downside of that little paper trimmer is it only goes to four inches. But if you go into a crop or somewhere where space is of an but add a premium, it's perfect. And there are other ways you can measure it. You saw I just held it up to there. You could hold it up to a ruler. Lots of ways. I know I'm taking this to my next crop. Okay, so now that this is dry, we can take an adhesive eraser and just lightly get rid of that. You want it to dry first, because if it's not dry, it will tear up your cardstock. There we go, we just need a side folding card base and I happen to have one right here. Now I think actually we're gonna put it on a different color this time. I think it may be gorgeous grape. Just to make it pop a little. Mmm, not sure about that. Okay, now I have two top folding card bases that we can try just for the color. I'm not sure about that either. I think of all of them, I like that one the best. So let's give it a shot. Now, just because it's side folding does or top folding doesn't mean that we can't use it this way because then it opens up into a nice longer card. So let's just glue this down. And then you can go in and pop up these things again. Should really figure out what they're called, hey? So you can have them popping up as much or as little as you want. If you want to see the color underneath, then pop them up a lot. go. Just a couple more things. Now when I did this card I used the champagne rhinestones from the mini catalog. These are on back order for quite some time so you can use whatever embellishments you want but I just happen to have some of my holiday rhinestones left over so let's use, I don't even know what blue this is, let's call it night and navy. And we'll just put those down. Now, sometimes the glue dot shifts a bit. You don't want that showing, so just kind of tuck it back under. And if it's gonna be stubborn, move on to another one. It, I'm not sure if you can see, but quite a few of these are kind of 
you can see the glue dot. Okay, those are the smallest ones. So there are a couple that are larger, so I just use the larger rhinestone for that. One more little one. Oh, two more little ones. I think this is how I missed that pearl on the other one. Beautiful. Okay, so now I'm just going to come in with my glaze pen. I'm not sure if you can see it on this one, but just go in and add a few little dots. Because if this were a night sky, there are stars that shine brighter. Chances are they would be higher up in the sky. So try not to put too much too low, because on this one it will be more obvious than on this one. And you just need a few. It just kind of adds a little something there. Okay, so now all that's left are the sentiments. So we've got our strip here. I actually have a strip here I can use as well. So I think let's use, we'll stick with Memento. Memento. Always easier to stamp first and die cut or punch after the fact. Easier to see your die on there versus having to stamp within your confined space. With a great big wish for happiness. Because I have this block out, I'm just gonna use that one and I need an insert for that. Now, there are no image stamps in this bundle, so to speak, but you could use uh, one of the little blooms from Thoughtful Blooms if you wanted to put a flower or any little flower that you have from any set. All we have to do is die cut our sentiment and adhere our pieces. There we go. So if this bundle or this stamp set hadn't caught your eye before, I hope that you have uh, reconsidered and given it some thought now that it has the Sending You Flowers dies. They are wonderful and they are available now. So if you'd like to place an order, big or small, and you live in Canada and you're not yet working with a demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. Um, you can just send me an email at stampedaf at gmail.com or you can click on the links below to shop for these or any other products that you need. And if you use my current host code and have an order of $60 or more, you will get the ch champagne rhinestones when they're back in stock or you can choose a different embellishment of your choice. A couple of people that I've offered it to have gone with a different embellishment so choice is yours I'll just pop this up on a couple of minis and these dots on this die all do pop out very easily you don't have to sit there with a die brush or take your pick tool and pop them all out. They come out very easily, which is fantastic. This one doesn't want to come off. It really doesn't want to come off. <laughs> okay, so you could ink up your edges a little bit if you don't want this to be quite as stark as it is. So let me just show you that the remaining ink on our sponge dauber in gorgeous grape 
will distress this just perfectly. You don't even have to go back to your ink pad. There's enough residual ink on here. You could even put it on the front, the top if you want. Okay, now that my fingers have been all over the dimensionals, let's see how sticky they are. Okay, and like I said, if you wanna put some kind of twine or something on the side, it uh, helps to finish it off just a little bit. And that really brought in the, uh, uh, the what? The champagne mist shimmer spray. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed those projects. And if you have any questions, just send me an email, stampedaf at gmail.com, comment below, send a carrier pigeon, however you choose to communicate, just communicate. And if you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider hitting that big subscribe button below. And we will see you again soon, my crafty friends. Bye.